All right, guys, how's it going? I've been waiting all day to open this. This is my brand new eBay turbo kit. Cost me 500 bucks and comes with a turbo, flanges, intercooler piping, wastegate, blow off valve, oil feed, and oil drain. And we're just gonna take a look at the quality of the components. Oh, it's a T3, T4 hybrid turbo. I basically bought this one just to get the car set up with a turbo and then I'm going to swap out the China one for a hopefully better quality one. But the main thing here is to see what $500 can get you these days. So, first and foremost, I'm seeing... the inner cooler piping and this actually looks pretty high quality I can see three layers of of thread going through there and it's silicone not bad not bad oh okay here we go and we also have this one that includes the flange for the blow off valve so that you don't have to weld on this flange but I suppose if this failed, I could still pop this out of it and then weld this on if I wanted to. So that's kind of cool. Let's take a look in here. Oh yes, this is pretty fat. This must be the oil drain. Braided hose. Real fittings. That's pretty cool. This actually, these don't feel like bad quality for the money either. Now I'm going to be probably running a restrictor on this. I ordered one, but they never shipped it. I've heard that with a, what is it, a .63 oil restrictor, you get a little bit longer life on your seals with these eBay turbos, so we're probably gonna try to run one of those. We'll see how it goes. Here's the oil feed. I could actually measure that and see what that size is compared to a .63, see if it really is necessary. All right, we got a couple other boxes over here I'm interested in checking out. This black box. Looks like we have some vacuum. Oh, I know what this is. All right, this is our boost controller. It's supposed to be one PSI at a time. Boost controller, manual boost. All right. I'm going to guess that this is the wastegate. Flange, gasket. Let's look at the piece itself. It's blue like I ordered. It's big. It actually looks really nice. I don't know how it looks to you guys. I haven't seen very many other waste gates. But I'm saying this actually looks pretty durable. This is piece right here is clearly cast but I mean the the top here is just looks really nice all right so that means this one has to be the blow off valve oh yep it even says blow off valve on it how did I not notice that oh we get some uh some actual silicone vacuum line I mean I already had some of this left over from my MR2 but that's a nice thing to include a little bit of quality All right, so we have gasket, two T fittings, some spring clamps, some nuts and bolts. Uh, this is probably what bolts this bolts onto the the silicone hose. And then we have the blow off valve itself. Now. Oh wow, this actually looks really cool. 
I'm gonna do my best to get this set up properly in the car. It looks like it's adjustable to soft or hard. I can't mess with it now though, it's like preset. It's definitely tightened down. And then you just have vacuum line. I actually really like the finish on there. It's almost like a, um, what do they call that? Like a hyper black. Uh, but I can see a little bit of a seam right there. I don't like that. But the horn looks cool. And it looks like it seals pretty well. Neat. Hopefully it sounds cool. I've heard a couple of the eBay ones that sounded really bad. It just kind of sounded like a, a can of soda opening. Maybe they weren't running enough boost. Okay, we got a big box that says intercooler. So let's take a look at this intercooler. It was a pretty small one, but then again, we're running a, what is it, 1.5 liter. And we're probably not going to be running an insane amount of boost. So. Oh, see we got some mounting hardware. That's kind of cool. Uh, I mean, it looks functional. Doesn't look amazing. Doesn't look as good as the radiator I got. But it looks functional. Tubing's pretty thick. That's good. I like how it has, even though it's like a fake brand or whatever, uh, it has it like popped out on here. Okay, good, good. This is what I wanted to see. More silicone. So I was going to say, we definitely didn't have enough pieces before. We only had five of them. So we got some more couplers in addition to our elbows and our blow-off valve one. They gave me eight straight couplers. Now I really just wanted to look at the wall thickness on this. So I'll open one up. You know, it's not bad. It's not that bad. People were complaining about the thin wall a lot, I saw. But I personally am not going to be trying to weld this stuff. So this should be just fine. I'm not too worried about the quality of intercooler tubing. Wow, they sure gave me a lot. That's a good thing, though. All right, then we have whatever's in here, which is already like cut open. Downpipe flange, flange, whatever. It's there. I'm gonna weld on it. It's gonna be cool. Huh, even more. They even gave us some short little elbows in addition to some of the bigger ones. So, this should have. Lots and lots of clamps. Bag of clamps. There you go. Now I don't see the actual exhaust, um, man what would you call that? The other flange, the one that bolts the header to the turbo. I haven't seen that yet, and this kit is supposed to include one. So hopefully it's in here, attached to the turbo. Uh, the turbo is by far the heaviest part of this. In fact, I'm pretty sure it made for most of the weight in the box. That and the wastegate. The wastegate was pretty heavy, actually. Oh, 
I love it when there's a box in a box. Gaskets. Oh, maybe I just don't know how to how it works, because right here it says AR.50, and then on this plate that they've machined into it, it says T3 T4.63. I don't know exactly how these things work. Like I said, this is my first turbo, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Looks cool. Oh, they actually did cut a little bit out of mine. If you can see that, a little bit is cut out on the turbine wheel right by the the bottom there. That actually means that they balanced it, which is good. I heard if you get one of these and there's a little bit cut off, it's balanced. And that is actually really good for you. Alright, I just want to get a look at the uh, compressor wheel. Maybe see if there's any play. Oh man. There is just a tiny bit of play. Hopefully not enough to cause bad things to happen. Alright guys, thanks for watching this unboxing. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more automotive content. And also if you want to see this turbo installed on a 1991 Toyota Tercel.